gravel racing. It helps me learn what I'm made of. Huh. <sighs> now I know how deep I can dig. He thinks I maybe scratched the cornea and if they don't want it to get infected, because then tomorrow it'll be really bad. So I just need to go to the hospital to make sure like it's okay. Yeah, and it's only seven minute bike ride away. <laughs> We're going to España for a bike race. to Girona at the hotel. We're waiting to check in. And I can almost form sentences. <laughs> the Chaka 360. This was the race that I've been the most excited for this season. I get to just go see if I can even ride this far. 360K is a great distance because it feels doable to race it potentially, but also far enough where it's not just going to be full gas the whole time so a bit of an adventure it's long enough that a lot of things can happen out there um which is what i like i think the most appealing thing was that i really wanted to check out this part of the world i wanted to ride my bike in Girona and see what it's about so i figured I might as well do that for 360 kilometers so here we are <laughs> ride with uh, the W Collective and uh, yeah my friend Sammy put it on I made the logos and uh, yeah we just got a big a group of ladies we did an easy spin and everyone seems to be doing different distances of this event and like already I can tell the energy is like it's so different than a lot of the racing I'm doing this year which is really intense and very like result focused and this is um, it, it truly about like the experience and connecting with the bicycle. Going into a long race like this, it's really important to have the bike dialed in as much as I possibly can so that she doesn't have to deal with any issues out on the course. So this will be the longest ride that Sarah has ever done in one go. So should be exciting to see, you know, how, how well she does with the whole like super long distance thing. So I think the longest one before this was Unbound. It's 200K and like, I think she was somewhere around like 10 and a half or 11 hours there. Um, this will be closer to like 15 and a half, 16. First, I'm gonna get my nutrition yep. figured out. Yeah. Okay. You do your nutrition stuff and I'll okay. get some of this going. This part I don't love. I hate this part. This part makes, I don't know why the name, it just makes me nervous. Feed zones, mileage, 91.5. I think it's just an eating contest. Racing and surviving are two different things and this length of an event sort of falls between the two. So 
if you race it, you have a high probability of not finishing, but you could win. And then if you go for survival, you might not win. You could win, but you'll finish. We are at the start of this race. I keep forgetting I'm gonna be out there with other females, which is so nice. There are a lot of dudes, literally hundreds of them. And I just have to remember, like, I am not racing them. <laughs> I get to race other women, and there's a lot of us. Yeah. I don't Any look. tactics for today? Um, no, I mean, no. I just am gonna see how it feels and keep pedaling, honestly. I think it's so long, you just yeah. listen to your own body and do what you do. Oh, hello. It's kind of cool. Everyone <laughs> races differently. Like, some people feel good in the start. Some people come alive at the end, so it'll make for good racing. We started and I felt really good. My legs felt good. I didn't go too hard. Was able to eat and drink. I rolled into the first feed zone with Amity. That was where I made an error. I should have grabbed my spare pack. You want both bottles? Yeah. Just one. Just one? Yeah. How you doing? If I have to take another bite of a cliff bar, I'm gonna throw up. Do you want any real food? Yeah, Amity. just didn't know that the course was gonna take so long and I ended up running out of food and water. I know enough about racing at this point that when you run out of food and water, it changes everything very quickly. This is not good. You're doing great. You're only two minutes down. Okay. Left? Yep. Woo! I need my nap. Sarah, how's it going out there? Um, I bought. I I didn't have enough food. Oh, no. I ran out of water. And... Thank you. So we're at feed two. Uh, Sarah just rolled through. She's about two, three minutes down to Amity right now. I guess she bonked, and so she's just gonna try to like get a bunch of calories and drink and everything in, and uh, keep pedaling, keep moving. It's a long race, so there's a lot of lots that can happen. Just gotta keep it rolling. I bonked. I ran out of food. I ran out of water. I feel like I might not finish. Like actually, might not finish. I'm getting goosebumps in the heat of the day. I'm getting dizzy. I might have to pull the plug because of safety and health. Should I? not do this. It's unnerving to be the one that's making that call for yourself when you're just in a bad place. And that's the scary part about these races because you are you have to push yourself to a limit, but you also can't let yourself make stupid decisions that put your safety at risk. Alright. Oh. 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 
through she's like hurting a bit right now can't keep anything down she's just trying to keep it moving and uh, get through to the finish um, you know that's the ultimate goal with this ride is to get it done if I can finish a race I'm gonna finish the damn race hearing this noise from the finish line and seeing these lights and I was like, holy shit, I cannot believe I just finished. I felt bad at the time. My body hurt and my eyes hurt and then I went to the hospital. <laughs> Hello, Sarah. Congratulations. How are you feeling? Bad. <laughs> That's how 366 kilometers feel. Yeah, bad. <laughs> I'm so happy I made it. I didn't think I was going to finish. Congratulations. Thank you. I love seeing new places and doing new things, but I, I like doing that with other people. And I also understand that with my drive to do this, it's asking a lot of people in my life, you know, like Dylan helping with every single aspect is so much to put on your partner, but it brings you a lot closer to those people because you're sharing so many experiences condensed into one. And I think knowing those lows that you can hit, but then like crawl out from that is invaluable. You always remember your first 360 kilometer bike race is what I always say. <laughs> And my ojo is rojo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for bed.